Welcome to our video which is going to demonstrate how you can quickly undertake the DCMA 14 point assessment of your schedule using the Eversight add-on for Microsoft Project. My name is Andrew Simpson and I'm the founder of Eversight Limited and the creator of the Eversight product. I've got over a decade of experience in project delivery as well as being a PRINCE2 practitioner and accredited risk manager. So what is the DCMA 14 point assessment? DCMA stands for the Defence Contract Management Agency, which is an agency within the US Department of Defence responsible for overseeing an annual spend worth billions of dollars on defence and aerospace projects for the American government. Having such a large area of responsibility, they also provide thought leadership and project management disciplines, which is used globally throughout different industries, and the 14-point analysis is an example of one of their methods which has been widely adopted. It's now accepted as an industry standard and it's used to benchmark the quality of project and programme schedules throughout the world. However, executing the checks required to complete this assessment would be fairly time consuming if it was undertaken manually, therefore the Eversight tool provides a mechanism that allows you to complete the analysis with the click of a button from within Microsoft Project. And this produces a print optimised report which can be shared with stakeholders to objectively demonstrate the quality standards maintained within a schedule. To demonstrate this functionality, I've set up a sample schedule here and I've got to open a Microsoft project with the Eversight add-on installed. You'll notice on the ribbon menu that I have a new option labelled Eversight and to access the DCMA 14 point analysis functionality, I simply navigate to this tab on the ribbon menu and there's a button here. An important point to note is that point 13 of the check requires you to nominate a future milestone which will be used to calculate the critical path length index. To do this we simply select the next milestone in the Gantt view before we click the button on the ribbon menu. So having clicked this button, the dialog appears, it's got two text fields and the first one is read only. All that it's doing is confirming the name of the milestone that we selected in the Gantt view prior to clicking the button. The second one prompts us to define the rolling wave planning horizon. This is required as an input to check 8 and determines the window within which all your detailed planning and resourcing should have been undertaken. This defaults to 90 days which is fairly typical for an average project. So I confirmed these two values and I simply click the Generate Report button. We're presented with a progress bar while the analysis is being undertaken and then on completion we're presented with an Excel workbook containing two worksheets. The first worksheet shows the summary results of the analysis highlighting in red any of the checks that have been breached. The second tab contains the details for each check. So for example, we failed the first check because six of the tasks don't have predecessors or successors. If I swap to the second tab, I can see the numbers of those tasks that have failed this test, so I know these are the tasks that I need to look at to improve my rating. If you're interested in schedule quality and diagnostics beyond the DCMA 14 point assessment, then please visit our website to look at the Eversight QA module, which allows users to configure their own profiles to define their own quality rules within a set of checks. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask any questions in the comments or contact us directly via our website. Also, if you'd like to see more on project management with Microsoft Project, subscribe to our channel for other videos as we release them.